So I'm kind of like, what would people start doing, like, if you can no longer die? And I noticed a couple of things that basically just turn our planet into a party planet. <laughs> because, like... All about the parties. Because, like, first off, you gotta have time to party. And if you can't die, there's not a huge impetus on, like, work going to work every day. And you can also just be like, I'm not gonna work for, like, two or three years, and then, you know... I'll just work when I need to. So I feel like a lot of people aren't going to be working. So there's going to be plenty of people to party with. Plus the population is just going to be soaring. Two, like the consequences of drinking, like you can get shit faced and not worry about like waking up. Like, even if you wake up in a ditch, you know, you'll be fine. You know, the neck, like eventually there's no <laughs> long-term consequences. Also long, no long-term consequences to like drunken driving. Like you could crash your car, but you save up for a bit. Like you have all the time to save up money to get another car. I guess we should have clarified that like the way we're doing it is like you're basically wolverine or like deadpool oh yeah so you, yeah, like, yeah. We didn't talk, right away yeah i guess we didn't talk about exactly the mechanism that we chose so what we chose is the good version of immortality where you don't age well you age up to like adulthood like your prime like say so like 30 25 30 then you stop you're not gonna age anymore you stay healthy and then you can quickly regenerate from injuries and you know maimment and you know probably like whatever disarmaments or whatever so that you still feel things and pain and all that, but, like, it's not going to actually kill you. But I think if, like, you're incapacitated, you could stay incapacitated. I tried not to go into the, the dark, dark depths of, like, ways to, quote-unquote, get rid of people that can't die. <laughs> right. Because, like, getting dumped to the bottom of the ocean and, like, being under that pressure, it wasn't really a happy place for me. So I went back to partying. <laughs> well, I, I, I went there, so that's okay. <laughs> so, like, pe- like driving is going to be fucking buck wild because... The the safe the impetus not to drive like 150 miles an hour on the highway is one like I said the the safe the safety concern which is not really a super big concern and two is like the financial thing of your car being wrecked which like is not you're just less worried about it when you have like all the time in the world so there's gonna be a whole lot of drunk driving people having a great fucking time and another thing I noticed and I'm hoping you guys can help me build out on some of the implications here but effectively there are no more children. So all the kids grow up, you know, you know, you're 30 and you don't die. And so, yeah, kids, people are going to still be having kids. But I think we're definitely going to slow down the kid making train because overpopulation is a problem. So that's going to slow down. But also just proportionally, there's going to be like whatever the adult to kid ratio is now is going to just like keep going more and more and more and more into everyone's just an adult because no one is getting old and dying off. So I guess to the tune of like you said, well, 130 million a year and then 50 million people die. 130 million a year, born, 55 million die. Right. Uh, I cannot do that math off the top of my head. But eventually, there's going to be just, it's going to be like 95% adults in the world. So we're just going to really have like a world where everybody is just like young adults. And so one thing I was thinking is that we actually gain a little bit of resources from this because we're not going to need so many uh, schools anymore so people can live in the schools. And one thing that's always been a personal dream of mine is we're not going to need so many school buses. So there's currently 500,000 school buses in the United States. And just, I did a quick Google of what people do with school buses, and it's fucking everything I want it to be. Like, turn them into mobile homes, <laughs> like, cool, like, stereo systems, like, just all the coolest shit. Because you just basically have a mobile room that you can renovate however the fuck you want. And that's really all I want to do with my time when I have nowhere, when I, when I cannot die and have infinite time. I just want to renovate school buses. Specifically school buses. I mean, there are other types of buses and like RVs and stuff. Oh, yeah, there's lots of bus and RV, but there's something, there's something like pure about taking a school bus, which has a very specific purpose and just being like, no, this is my <laughs> school bus. Like, you're going to look at it from the outside and be like, yeah, that's a school bus. But when you look on the inside, it's going to be me partying and drunk, drunk driving. You don't want like a Hummer limo? Those are pretty cool. But school buses will be very cheap because we don't really need them anymore. Yeah, like, you just get these as handouts. Like, it's going to be like, I don't know, not taking the kids anywhere, just take a school bus. <laughs> you get a school bus, and you get a school bus. And everyone gets a school bus. And that's going to be, like, the cool hipster thing to do. So they're, they're going to make more school buses for the not school children. <laughs> right. <laughs> Vintage school buses. Yeah, like, it's going to be, like, a very prestigious thing to have one of the OG school buses that actually took kids. Like, if you have gum on the bottom of the seat, people are going to be like, oh, wow, like... This guy's got it. This guy's legit. You can't fake it, though, because they'll be able to tell fake gum. You can always tell fake gum. 
Can you though? Like, can- <laughs> I don't know. If I, I don't buy that one exactly because gum is one of the things that's basically absolutely unidentifiable from where you know it started as like I don't know. Maybe you could tell the brand. Like, I guess you could pick out like a winter fresh from a juicy fruit by the color, but it's literally a glob. No, f- like fourth grader choose cinnamon gum. This isn't a real school bus. They'll be able to carbon date it. <laughs> <laughs> can you carbon date gum i guess you i don't I, I guess so it must have carbon in it right or is it just like a forever yeah. thing like does it go away what the fuck does gum do it turns into those weird patches on the sidewalk those like black patches guys i'm just gonna do like a whole bunch of gum research like tomorrow <laughs> so someday it'll be useful for this podcast probably yeah can we can we like do a gum question please i want to know about gum <laughs> and i want to I wonder about the exact mechanism that when you chew a piece of juicy fruit for too long, makes it turn into sand in your mouth. <laughs> and by too long, you mean more than exactly four and a half minutes. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like, yeah, a range of like, oh, you've been chewing this for like somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes. It's like a, it's on the second, it's just like turns from gum to not gum. And it's the, yeah, it's the worst mouth experience I've ever had, I think. You know, those rubber erasers you bought when you were in, you know, like, like middle school, those were actually just old juicy fruit. Mm. But it's not even that. It's like, it turns into like a mush like a sandy mush it's like ugh. that's why i don't chew gum yeah you don't chew gum because you're not cool chris everyone knows the cool <laughs> yeah, people that that too chew gum and blow bubbles and then they pop and it's like oh wow thank god that didn't go on my leather jacket but yeah you know how cool i am now i was never good at blowing bubbles i would always try to blow the bubble and just spit the gum out accidentally <laughs> yeah same well we b- know you're both not cool <laughs> Like we've just I mean, <laughs> was that was that really in question ever? <laughs> Apparently only a third of us are cool. Yeah, I can blow super big bubbles. 